split range controller. In the split range controller, several manipulated variables are used to control a single process variable. Here both manipulated variables are driven by the output of a single controller. However, the range of operation for the manipulated variables can be independent of each other. Typical examples include the control of pressure in a chemical reactor by manipulating the inflow and outflow from the reactor. Another classic example is the temperature control of a vessel by manipulating both the cooling water flow and the steam flow to the vessel. Let's move to the software for an example. For a split range controller example, we will modify our ratio controller case. Move to the dynamic tab and click on dynamic mode. Are you sure you want to switch to steady state mode? Say yes. Now go to home. First we remove this ratio controller from here. Now double click the mixture. Go to parameter and set outlet to lowest inlet. Close this one. Now active your solver. Press shift n to see the name of the stream. Double click the hot stream and change the temperature. Make it 80 degrees Celsius and the pressure 300 kPa. Now move to the other stream. Go to worksheet. Change the temperature. Make it 25 degrees Celsius and the pressure 300 kPa. Now close this one. Now go to the mixture, parameters and equalize all. Now we put two PID controllers. One near valve A and one near the valve B. And we put one split range controller near valve C. Double click the product stream. Go to worksheet. Right now, no temperature is available. So close this one, double click the valve, go to design and remove the product from here. Now again, attach it. So it is solved. It is usually a software bug. In this example, we will maintain the product temperature by manipulating the hot and cold steam flow rates. Now double click controller one, select PV. Hot out, then mass flow. Select OP, valve A, actuator desired position. Now go to parameter, the PV minimum 0 and the maximum 400. KC is 0 0.5 and TI is also 0 0.5. It's auto and reverse section. Close this one. Now double click on controller number two, select PV, the cold out and the mass flow rate. Now select OP, it is valve B, actuated desired position, select. Now move to parameter, put the minimum value zero and the maximum 400. After that, specify KC 0 0.5, TI 0 0.5. It is uh, auto and reverse type. Now, double click the split range controller, select PV. It is mix out temperature. For the OP one, select OP. FIC 100, set point, select. Now, for OP2, select OP, FIC 101, set point, select. Now go to split range setup. And specify the lower value 0 and the maximum 100 here. In the FIC 101, the lower range is 0 and the higher range is 50. Check invert action for both. Now go to parameter, then select configuration. 
the low limit for the PV is 50 and the high limit for the PV is 60 degrees C. The set point will automatically appear. Now select operation. KC is 0 0.02 and TI is 1. Set it is an auto. Close this one. Now open the face plate of FIC 100. Also the FIC 101. Also open the face plate for the split range controller. Now go to strip chart option. Then select set point PV and OP only. Click create a strip chart button and click display. Now close this window. Put it on the other side. Go back to connection. Now go to dynamic tab and click on dynamic mode button. Are you sure you want to switch to dynamic? Say yes. Now go to FIC 100 and select cascade. And go to FIC 101 and select cascade. Now click the run button to run your model. Go to parameter. And give the set point 60 degrees Celsius. You can see how they are trying to achieve the value in the strip charts. In a face plate, this R is indicating the set point is coming from remote. If you double click on FIC and go to connection window, so you can see that the remote set point is coming from split range controller. Thank you. If you want to learn new skills online, join our expertly training courses. Visit our website www.amisolglobal.com or send your queries at admin at